Cameron Davis. Yeah, I think the biggest thing has been, you know, really just trying to help these guys kind of take the next step. You know, on the run game, I think one of the things that, you know, we've been trying to focus on is just uh, doing a better job of running through arm tackles and getting behind our pads and things like that. And then protection-wise, just getting, you know, just more dialed in our technique. But, you know, the funny part about it is by week, fall camp, spring ball, you know, it's always focused back onto those details of fundamentals. And really, we got an opportunity, you know, to watch some of these guys like the Cameron Davis of the world get a chance to get out there and work on some of his stuff during uh, during the bye week. You know, Kamari's gotten better. Sean has gotten better. You know, getting all these guys kind of working. Uh, you know, just to, to build that skill that we need as we kind of finish the season. And, you know, as let the truth be told with the group I have, kind of work in the next spring. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, he, uh, Cameron Davis got a couple snaps. One, one of his uh, runs got called back for a penalty. But but uh, just tell me about what you saw from him. And was it, was the moment too big for him? Or did, did he handle it? pretty well. That was a long question. Okay, well, sorry. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, no, the moment wasn't too big for him. Um, you know, I think, you know, with what I saw, I think he's a kid that, you know, has confidence in his uh, his ability. And just like with all these kids, especially when they're young, you're trying to get them in there and, you know, get them a player or two that will get some confidence and then they kind of roll from there. Uh, I think you always want to put these guys in situations where they can be successful, especially when you're talking about a freshman. But I do, I am excited for the future that Cam Davis has here in the uh, Purple go because, you know, he carries himself. He works every day as a guy that's going to be taking some big strides as he kind of continues his career here. Right. You're welcome. Hey, Coach, um, when you look at Utah's front seven, um, how do they compare to the front seven that you guys have faced already this season? They're really good. I mean, they're really stout. They're physical. They have a great scheme. Uh, I think they do a good job of trying to uh, get into the backfield and stop the run. Um, they try to penetrate, you know, based on, you know, some of the pressures they bring to put some pressure on the running backs and the quarterbacks and protection, the O-line as well. Uh, you know, they're fast, uh, physical. I think when you talk about some of the defenses that we've played, I mean, uh, they're probably one of the top ones. I mean, they're the number nine team in the country, so, um, and you don't get there by luck. I think these guys do some, some good things on defense, and I think, you know, as you prepare for them, you're like, these guys will be ready to play on Saturday. And I know it's been a couple of weeks since the Oregon game, but can you guys carry over some offensive momentum from that game to, to this weekend? Um, that is an interesting question. Um, I guess we're trying to just carry over, you know, just uh, the vibe of, you know, guys being detailed, guys being distant, guys being out there playing physical and doing their job. And that's really what we want to carry over. You know, one snap of clear, you get ready for the next week and you prepare these guys as best you can. And it always is going to come back to us being detailed and being dialed and going out they're playing physical and tough. And how important will it be to match Utah's physicality? Oh, I mean, that's I mean that's part of the game. I think uh, you know, saying match their physicality makes it seem like uh, we're not a physical football team. But I think you know the one thing that I know is these guys are ready to play on Saturday, and uh, you know that's that's kind of our focus is going out there and being ready to go. And did the bye week help your group uh, get any healthier? Well, it's, the running back position, nobody's ever healthy. Um, the bye week, you may be knocked off a couple uh, bruise marks here and there. And, you know, we'll be out there Saturday in full force ready to go. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.